Are you tired of the nine to five lifestyle? Do you want more freedom to do what you want, when you want it, without sacrificing your current income? Then this is the show for you. Every week, we dive into John's journey towards financial freedom and everything he has learned since 2014. Real estate investing, cryptocurrency, stocks, private lending, foreign residency, tax saving strategies, infinite banking, assets protection, and much more. Now, here is your host, the founder of the Wealth and Freedom Nexus, John Rickgarn. Thank you, and welcome to the preview episode of the Wealth and Freedom Nexus. And thank you for joining and spending your most valuable resource with me, which is your time. So you may ask, what is the Wealth and Freedom Nexus? I came up with this idea um, on a couple of fronts. For starters, many of us, when we think back to our younger days, you know, we're young, we're carefree, we do not have any responsibilities. We don't have any bills to worry about. In essence, we have plenty of freedom, but I doubt many of us had really any wealth. If we had anything that needed to be taken care of, usually our parents provided for us, you know, minus some school and maybe some chores, we had a pretty carefree life. At least I think most of us did. As we get older, um, more of us have wealth, but maybe not as much freedom. We're many times slaves to a job for the W-2 work hours, the 40, 50, 60 or more hours a week slaving away at a job that maybe you only tolerate or maybe you downright hate. How many high-paid professionals do you know that the minute they stop working, 100% of their income also stops? Is that you? I can attest that was me at one point. And I vowed to never put myself in a position again that I am dependent on just one source of income. So with that being said, the Wealth and Freedom Nexus, well, the Nexus is a connecting point, and I view it as a connecting point of wealth and freedom. Now, how do we get to that connecting point? Well, that is through passive income. Passive income bridges that gap so that you have wealth and freedom freedom of your time to live a life that gives you meaning and purpose. Now I'll take a step back and share a little bit about my story of how I came up with this. I've been on my financial freedom journey since November of 2014. A little bit of a backstory. Uh, my wife had left a, shall we say, toxic work environment. She wanted to go back to school, become a doctor or get her doctorate to become a professor. That was her lifelong dream. And I thought about it and I figured, you know, I am in full support of you. And like I mentioned before, uh, that would put us down to one income, my income. At the time I was a sales professional for a technology company and back to those 40, 50, 60 hour work weeks. Uh, that was me. There were times I hit the road at six, six thirty in the morning would, you know, start pounding the pavement, so to speak, meet with clients, put together proposals, maybe some installs, training, seminars, networking meetings, the works, get back at, you know, five, six o'clock and whip out the laptop for another couple hours at night. That was my life. <laughs> That's what I got accustomed to. And back in November of 2014, I remember it very vividly. I was sitting on the couch in our living room and I realized, you know, I'm 31 years old. If I was to essentially relive my entire life, that 31 years, um, I would be working 40, 50, 60 hours a week, every week for those 31 years. And then I'd be 62. I still would not be at the arbitrary retirement age of 65 that so many financial advisors point to that once you get to age 65, you can then tap into your retirement accounts and then have a blissfully uh, wealthy retirement and never have to work again. And that's when you can really start living life. You don't have to work anymore. 
Well, that's all fine and dandy. And maybe that works for some people. I personally know some that that has worked out for. But then I really started to think, well, what if I don't make it till age 65? See, a little background on myself. Both my parents died of cancer by the time I was 16. I was born an only child. My dad passed away of cancer when I was 11. And my mom passed away when I was 16. Both of them did what you were supposed to do, what we've been trained to do, what's been ingrained in us from day one is to go to school, get good grades, get a good job with great pay and great benefits and contribute to a retirement account, hopefully your workplace 401k and for 30 or 40 years, work, 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 save, save, save. And when you get to that arbitrary retirement date, 62, 65, 67, then you can start living your life and basically enjoying the fruits of your labor after all that time. Well, what if you don't get there? Both my parents died in their 50s. They did everything they were supposed to do, but they were not able to enjoy life at a later time. That's when the light bulb went off for me. I figured there's more to life than just work. There's more to uh, life than deferring everything to a later date that is not guaranteed for you, for I, for any one of us. Uh, None of us know when our last day on this planet will be. It could be tomorrow. Hopefully not. It could be next year. And who knows? I could live to 80, 90, or maybe 100. But again, that's not guaranteed. So hence the light bulb went off. And I thought, well, what if there was a way to earn additional money now and in retirement so I wasn't deferring everything into retirement. And that's when I started my journey and wanted to share that with my my listeners and uh, relay what I've learned and what's worked well for me. So in regards to this podcast, uh, what can you expect? As I mentioned with my previous job, It was not uncommon for me to drive 100 to 200 miles a day. I think my record was just over 400 in one day. So a lot of road time and started to come across this wonderful thing called podcast. Downloaded and listened to everything I could come across from real estate investing, uh, stock options, asset protection, um, Amazon reseller stores, and pretty much you name it. I listened to it. And as I you know, became more familiar with the platforms, listened to more and more podcasts, really kind of had a good set idea of what I felt would be a great podcast to help others and help them jumpstart their journey as well. So for my podcast, you're going to be seeing a weekly publication, not daily. There's some that are out there that are daily. Props to them for having the resources to do it daily, but even if they produce it, that's still an episode that you need to listen to every single day. And with that, I will try my best to keep the podcast between 30 and 40 minutes. Uh, Minimal advertisements, hope to eventually have a sponsor for each show. I understand that your time is valuable, and I have no intention of babbling for one, two, or three hours on end. And yes, I've come across many podcasts that are that long. I want to make this podcast educational, entertaining, and most importantly, contain action steps for all of you to take. Guests that will be featured on my show are ones that have had a huge impact on my life and my journey towards financial freedom, and many of them I have met personally as well. Probably the most important thing, this will not just be a real estate show or an investment show. I don't want it to have it pigeonholed into one topic, so to speak. This will be a very far-reaching podcast and cover many topics from asset protection to foreign investments, uh, foreign residencies, second passports, and passive income opportunities that I myself have been involved with and have been investing in for years, many of them starting at just $100 or less. Nothing that you have to have you know, $10,000, $50,000, $100,000, or half a million dollars to partake in it. Probably the biggest thing, I really wanted this podcast to be self-sustaining. After much, you know, thoughts and brainstorming, I've already put together a list of over 50 potential guests and topics, which will take me well into 2022. I'm starting this here on November 3rd, 2021, and I already have 
many podcasts queued up towards the end of the year that you will see published. Statistics many times show that 75% of all podcasts are no longer in production and many die off after the seventh episode. I've come across some of those where, hey, it sounds really good. And then you subscribe to it and then you realize, well, gee, it's been one, two, three, four, 12 months and there hasn't been any updates or some of them are extremely inconsistent, so to speak. I won't name any names, but there are some podcasts that I no longer listen to because I don't know if they're going to come out with an episode once a week, once a month or once whenever the hell they feel like it. And finally, as I've listened to many podcasts, probably my biggest pet peeve of mine is when a resource, a book, a website, uh, an email address to reach out to someone is mentioned in the show, but it's not listed in the show notes. And let's face it, many, many times we're listening to podcasts while we're driving, while we're working out, when we're doing Uh, chores around the house or whatever it may be. And we don't have the time to sit there and rewind and listen to it twice, three times and hope to catch that resource. Well, was that a B is in Bravo? Was that a a D is in Delta? I didn't quite catch that. What was that web address again? Again, it's not listed in the show notes. So all resources and links that I will be mentioning will be in clickable format in the show notes. So if there was a book that you heard that you might want to listen to, maybe you want to reach out to the guest that was uh, presented in the episode, you don't need to worry about hitting that rewind button to catch that resource. They will all be in clickable format at the end of the show notes on the respective podcast platforms. So thank you for joining. Uh, I hope you subscribe to this podcast on your favorite channel, be it iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, or Stitcher, and join me on my journey that I started seven years ago in November of 2014 to your wealth and freedom. Thank you for listening. Be sure to share, rate, review, and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. For more updates, check out www.wealthandfreedomnexus.com. Remember, nothing on this show should be considered tax, legal, investment, or professional advice. This show is produced solely for educational and informational purposes. Please consult an appropriate and licensed tax, legal, real estate, or business professional for specific advice for your situation. For distribution or publication rights or media interviews, please contact the host.